Mao. It's June and in the western parts of Maharashtra, the rain starts right on time. Although I had poured concrete on our roof, it started leaking when the rains came. It was leaking from the sand bricks that were used to line the border of the roof. So I decided to waterproof the roof, but with some tiles as well, so that we can use it during winters and summers to get some fresh air. This video is about how I went about this process and I would like you, the Maker Army, to join in this journey. Ciao, girl. Previously, I had put some cool looking patterns as tiles in my living room. The tiles cost me around rupees 750 rupees a pack and to lay this it cost me rupees 65 rupees per square feet. So that's rupees 15,600 just for the labor work. This time I was, it was the roof and nobody is going to see it very often. Mukesh ji is my mystery and he suggested that we can use leftover tiles that come as at rock bottom prices. For example, a 2 by 4 feet tiles cost me 80 rupees and a 2 by 2 feet tiles cost me rupees 40. The catch here is that we will not get the same type of tiles twice. So we have to work with what we get. I remember the saying that beggars can't be choosers. Oh well, it's my roof so I don't care what they see and I'm sure I will make a great pattern out of whatever I get. Before we started to pick the design, we had to fix the budget and talk to the shop owner about the cost of each piece. Because when we pick, we get different sizes like 16 by 16 inches and 12 by 12 inches or 1 by 2 feet also. So he should not change the price after we have spent the time picking the tiles. So I went to the same place for two days. First for the research to see who fits my requirements and for the second day to actually pick up the material. This way the shopkeeper also understands that we are serious about buying and gives us a good discount. Next I wanted to pick the design I like and obviously this wasn't possible because the helper at the shop said that he will randomly load the required number of tiles. I said no, nope, this, this will not work for me. He also demanded money to load the tiles to our tempo. I had gone with my father and brother-in-law so I told the shopkeeper that it is okay if it takes time but I will do the loading myself. This way I was able to sort through the lot that was there. Since this was the roof and when it rains tiles are known to be slippery so I decided to choose the tiles only which were rough and hard on the feet. This way it will be anti-skid. If we give time to anything then I'm sure it turns out to be good. I am glad I gave time to choose some really good materials for the tiles. And of course we loaded it to the tempo ourselves saving that extra money. I want to explain something about factory edges versus manual cutting of the tiles. The factory edges are usually smooth and comes with a perfect 90 degree. This is mostly the case but sometimes in some boxes the pieces are not perfect you have to be careful when you lay the tiles. Whenever we cut the tiles, we match the factory edges and hit the manual cut inside the wall. We manage to hide the manual cut side corners also. This is because no matter how hard we try, there are su still some chip outs. To avoid this, we match the factory edges to remove the gaps between the tiles. Otherwise, it will look like this. In places like here where we couldn't avoid, we had to join manually cut pieces. but here you can see that the factory edges look so good. Since these tiles have been handled roughed and kept outside for months, there are chances that it would have developed some cracks. Letting it be a part of the design was the wise decision. I know it's a new home and we do not like cracked tiles but eventually it may happen so why not accept it now. Also, if I remove this piece now, then the whole pattern will get spoiled and I don't want that. That's not to say that I accept broken tiles, but if it happens and it is out of a control, then it's best to accept it. I was just checking the statistics of my channel and I realized that almost 90% of the viewers have not subscribed. Our entire team puts a lot of effort in making each video and if you enjoy the content then please do subscribe and click the like button as well. This will help others discover our videos and thank you for doing that. Making level and using cement with waterproof. When I poured the concrete I should have been careful to make the level on one side. I didn't do it. As a result now I have to add so much of crushed sand to make this area level. So the water flows in one direction. 
as for the fixing procedure the tiles were used only with cement and with doctor fix it waterproofing solution with every 5 kg of cement we added one cap of doctor fix it this is the right combination then we poured a concussion of cement on the crushed sand and simply set the tiles on top of it we also scratched the surface so that the cement water enters inside the crushed sand we practically soaked the crushed sand and then laid the tiles on it using a wooden mallet we gently tapped on the corners to match it we repeated this procedure until the tiles were set we mainly concentrated on setting the factory edges to each other. This way we didn't throw away the alignment. After laying the tiles a day of curing is necessary. We can walk on it the next day itself. We had to improvise on the design because we did not have a lot of tiles. We thought we got enough tiles but we broke a few when we were transporting it. As a result, we had to cut and use these wherever uh, needed. I know it doesn't sync with the rest of the pattern, but if I see, but if I see it as a section, then it matches. But hey, if I try too hard to find pattern in everything, then I would just go mad. So I just let it be and I accepted it. I just wanted this place to be usable and easy to clean. One important thing to choose is the drain. There are always uh, there are two types of drains that can be used. One is to put a hole right above the tiles and the other is to put a hole underneath the tiles and then use a stainless steel drain like this. I had to install both because even after leveling the roof, still the roof was collecting water in these two corners. So I had to do it both ways. On this side, instead of a stainless steel drain, there is an option of a plastic as well. But most of the plastic cracks because of the heat. I know that this might rust soon also, but I decided to use it anyway because I am sure it will last for at least 10 years. I know what you all have been waiting for. Did this process actually work for me? Before I answer that, first let's see the total money spent. For the tiles, I had spent only rupees 1800. The labor was 4500. Compared to my previous expense of rupees 25,000 when I had laid the tiles for the home, this one cost me only 6300. That's a saving of 18,700. So, yes, I would say the process worked for me. I'm very happy about the money saved and also the process of checking the tiles and making the patterns. Next time, I have another idea on how to use such tiles better. I want to make a terrazzo pattern for the other room that I want to experiment it with. If you have stayed till this very end, then you are a true maker. Thank you so much. Also share this video with someone who is building their home. It might help them also. If you liked this video, then please smash that like button. Every Friday, I try to upload a video, so definitely watch it. There is a link of the entire playlist in the description if you are interested. I hope to see you in the next video. Until next time, happy learning.